Hey, one Broken World Entertainment, and we got a bit of news on Predator, more so Prey, and Alien, more so the Alien FX series. So what are the stories? Well, Prey has won an Emmy for outstanding sound editing, and the Alien FX series has a new cast member in Mo Bar L, who's joined the cast. So let's have a wee look at this. We'll start with the casting stuff. So we have yet another casting edition coming to us exclusively from Deadline for the Noah Holly helmed FX Alien series. Actor Mo Bar L, I hope I'm saying his name right, is set to have been cast for a major role, though the character details are not mentioned. And I'd like to point out, I've never heard of this guy in my life. And I'm looking at his image, and I've never seen him in my life. So Mo Barrel is an upcoming actor. Uh, he joins other recently announced cast members, including a bunch of people like Timmy Oliphant and Kit Young. After a lengthy development period, which was disrupted by the coronavirus pandemic, the Alien series finally started production last year, though it was again disrupted by the record-setting entertainment industry strikes. Everything in that is a bit wrong. A little bit. The coronavirus, uh, they were never really supposed to start back when that was a thing. As for the strikes, I uh, should have never affected them whatsoever because they're filming this thing in Thailand. So... There's no reason that the strikes should have affected them. They wouldn't have been bound by the strikes. As for the prey, so that guy is going to be a part of Noah Holly's FX series. So that's set on Earth, not with Wayland Yutani. It's with a new company called Progeny, where it's all about artificial uh, life forms, basically. And one of the characters, it's either their brother or their sister passes away their consciousness is put into a synthetic and that's where the story is but yes there will be xenomorphs somehow don't know how but then prey takes home emmy for outstanding sound design so dan trackenberg's fantastic predator film prey was nominated for six emmy awards last year uh, it was in fact the first tv movie in nine years to receive emmy nominations for both writing and directing. Prey was also nominated for Outstanding Television Movie, Outstanding Picture Editing for a Limited Movie, Outstanding Music Composition for a Limited Movie, and Outstanding Sound Editing for a Limited Movie. The actual award ceremony took place yesterday, which was the other day, Sunday, and Prey came home with an Emmy Award for Outstanding Sound Editing for a Limited uh, Series. Responding to the win on Twitter, Prey director Dan Trackenberg had a funny, uh, understated remark to make. This was so cool. And that's all he put down. So, Prey has won an Emmy for Outstanding Sound Design. I can't really remember what kind of sounds were in the movie to uh, win an award. <laughs> I, I really can't. It's, it, I remember a lot of it being quiet. I haven't, I haven't watched it since the first time. Um, I suppose that's interesting. You know, it was an R.K. movie, you know. I enjoyed it. The ending's a bit stupid, but other than that. And of course, they're talking about plans for a sequel. Although, every time someone talks about the sequel, they talk about Arnold and Danny Glover being brought back into it somehow. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Because you would think the sequel would have to stay with uh, Amber Midthunder's character. Whose name now I can't remember. Uh, for the way that movie ended. With the whole depiction on the, the cave drawings of basically a predator invasion. But I just thought a quick little story on both the Alien FX series and Prey winning an award. So, little little bit of news for you there with those so with that i'll leave it there for this one so cheers i'll catch you in the next one